Well, welcome to um, the Northampton Open Media Annual Meeting slash Crowdsource Cinema. Screening, screening, yes. Um, I'm Tim Lovett. Um, I'm glad to see all of you here. Um, you know, uh, last, I mean, I don't know, this, this is double as many people at my birthday party, so I'm happy about that. <laughs> uh, I feel like, you know, I, I feel like, you know, we're, we're sort of like at an A meeting or whatever. It's like, you know, you get on these lights and, you know, you, um, you know, you, you know, they want you to tell your truth. But, you know, I, I see some people, Dave is in the house. How you doing, Dave? Dave was here when they was calling Northampton, Northampton Television, right? Like he was here when I shot my first uh, The Bubbler video. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where's that from? Um, yeah. <laughs> Sadly, I'm wearing it under these, <laughs> under these clothes. Um, I don't know. I don't know. We got some new faces here, you know. I, I don't know. I, um, Ellie, is that you? Ellie is. I, I like Ellie because Ellie looks so young. I was like, are we running a daycare? But I look at his wardrobe, but he dressed so much older than I do. <laughs> I'm like, that 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 gives me hope for, for the future. Um, <laughs> we got Flory in here. Let me tell you something. If you got any vehicle, any vehicle, anything uh, that flies, Flory will let you know every rule and regulation. <laughs> about it, he will scrutinize all your pictures and put it against maps and be like, uh, so yeah, so we, I, I feel good there. Um, I don't know. So again, I'm Tim Lovett and we are about to kick off our annual, you know, our annual meeting. Um, I'm glad you guys did make it for those who made it. Um, you, sir, you look like you're judging me, but you're gonna have a great time. You're gonna have a great time. You know what I mean? I'm just saying. I know, I see. It's like you're waiting for that. Like, you know, you're like, local comedian, just, you know, he steps over the line about flying drones. <laughs> you always gotta watch the ones in the plaid coat, man. Either, either they're trying to sell uh, paper towels or they're scrutinizing. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is, we are going to introduce our president. He has been, he's been very diligent, and um, he is the most professional person I ever met in my life, because I'm like, <laughs> but he's always on point. He always uh, makes sure things are together, and he has been a great leader. So I want y'all to give it up for our president, President Alex Russo! <laughs> what an introduction. The, the most professional? Oof. Ooh, okay. Uh, but yeah, so I'm Alex Russo. I'm the president of the Northampton Open Media Board of Directors. And I wanted to take this opportunity to uh, thank everybody, people here, people who might be watching at home, just for being part of NAM, for maybe contributing to the Crowdsource Cinema Project that we're going to see later today and just generally being part of this community. Because like to me and to the rest of the board, community is really important. Because without you folks, we wouldn't have events like this, like the one we're having today. So thank you. Uh, now, it is the main job of the board to make sure that we support the NOM staff, make sure they have the resources to help you folks out, to make sure you have the resources that you need. But lately we've been thinking that that's probably not enough, that we could do more, take a more active role, you know? So that doesn't mean that Al is not gonna get plenty of our time and attention, because he is, so don't worry Al. <laughs> you will still get that. But uh, what it does mean is that uh, you're gonna see more of us at events, and you're gonna hear more from us. So if you have ideas, if you have suggestions, if you have needs, come to us and let us know because we want to serve you as best we can, right? But that's um, pretty much it for me. 
just the last thing I wanted to say is that NAM is a great organization and we're excited to make it even better. So thanks everybody and enjoy the rest of the event. Hey everyone and welcome. Um, I'm Al Williams. I think I know all of you. I'm the, at least in the room, I'm the director of Northampton Open Media. Um, this is the time in which we just talk a little bit about what we've been doing the past year. So I'm gonna go over some highlights um, from the organization's point of view for 2023. Um, we closed our second space at 33 Holly Street temporarily um, due to construction on the building funded by a two and a half million dollar federal grant um, that was an earmark by Representative Jim McGovern. So that space at 33 Holly Street, as you know, um, is in a new arts building in downtown Northampton. Um, the building only gets constructed um, as money is raised to fund that construction because um, it is in trust, which means that land in that building theoretically will never be used for anything but art in the community. That's the idea. Um, because of that, they also do not want to take mortgages out on that building and risk it being taken away by a bank, for instance, if there's a foreclosure. Um, so that's why you may think the building was finished and it may have looked finished, but in fact it was not. Um, we've been living since then uh, in 2023 in 380 Elm Street, which has been great. Um, we needed to get back in touch with that space since uh, we vacated it um, during the pandemic um, and because of our move to 33 Holly, and we've been there ever since. Um, we'll be moving back into 33 Holly um, and operating both spaces. So you'll see one space open one day a week, the other space open another day a week. Um, they'll serve different functions in terms of how we use them to program the community and provide resources. Um, so look forward to that. And we'll be messaging out what schedule that looks like uh, as we move forward. Uh, in collaboration with the city of Northampton, NAM and the city uh, divided the cost of a rebuild of the, of the studio uh, camera system and studio inside of JFK School in the JFK community room. This is where the school committee and other groups hold meetings. Um, we're currently taking delivery on that equipment and we should see the, the space reconstructed with brand new gear. Um, that'll, be, that'll let us uh, cover meetings more efficiently, more effectively. They'll look better, they'll sound better. Um, we're looking forward to that. We received an ARPA grant for just over $70,000 from the city of Northampton for a mobile production and instruction program that includes cameras, a switcher, intercom, a podcast station, a cellular live transmitter and a vehicle. We're roughly halfway through purchases for the program. This will enable NOB to cover more live community events with fewer staff, more effectively and efficiently. In addition, it will allow us to proactively reach out to populations not engaging with NOB and do instruction and possible lending, much like a multimedia bookmobile. So we envision driving out to communities and doing, uh, just doing, doing learning on site where people are, are gathered that, that do not come to to NAM or have trouble coming to NAM um, and possibly using that vehicle to lend them out of gear as well. Um, it's a new program of ours. Um, you know, as you, if you've known the organization for a long time, we're always trying to sort of rethink what we do and think about new ways we can serve. And so this is one of those ways. Uh, we were consultants and fiscal sponsor of another grant, another ARPA grant to install an interactive screen with cameras and mics, as well as computers and Wi-Fi router in the Walter Salvo house in North this will allow residents there who often have poor internet service or no internet service to participate in their local government meetings uh, to fur further government transparency and their participation in local government. One of our biggest accomplishments this year at Northampton Open Media was that we won a regional entity award. Um, Jeremy Whalen's here today. He directed and produced the, that, that event. It took place here at the Academy of Music, the Young and Heart Chorus show. There were 17 cameras, I think. And the crew was essentially all high school students. Um, so, you know, winning that regional Emmy Award, we were up against multi-million dollar companies, um, for-profit organizations that were you know, entities like New England Cable News or NBC affiliates from the city of Boston. Um, so it was a bit of an underdog story. We're really, really proud of it. It was amazing work and we're happy to receive it. Uh, the staff attended the National Alliance for Community Media Conference, which was held in, at BRIC, a multimedia art center in Brooklyn, New York, and, and the home of their community media center. Uh, we 
won 11 national awards there and we're able to connect with community media professionals from around the nation. It's always an educational experience and great to attend with full staff. We were a partner in a region for the hosting of the first Catalyst Film Festival. Uh, this is a trans, film major, trans filmmaker regional film festival that we're able to help get screened at the parlor in, in Northampton with another partner, Signature Sounds, who is now actually the partner in two different organizations. Um, the turnout was great. Um, the mood at the screening was really uplifting, and we hope to find, continue to find ways to support that work moving forward as we can. We've begun the process of upgrading a lot of equipment in NAM, and it's been uh, sorely needed. We've come to the end of a six and a half year period um, in our city contract where we had essentially no capital funding. So we've been running really lean for those six and a half years, and we're coming to the end of that period and are able to start you know, refreshing the kind of equipment we have. Um, so you'll see a lot of new cameras. There are a dozen new cameras purchased this year, um, uh, a lot of different kinds of, kinds of gear, and um, you and the community can get your hands on that stuff and, and keep making stuff. Now I'm successful accepted as part of the first APE workroom cohorts at 33 Holly Street. This will put us in a collaborative relationship with a variety of area arts individuals and groups who are working in that space to create. Um, NAM will be creating in this space, producing regular smaller programs and some larger community events. Um, we covered you know, many, many productions this year, including the first night, the youth performance festival. Some of these are things that we were involved with directly, or some of them were supporting other groups. So the Youth Performance Festival, for instance, for example, is part of the Northampton Center for the Arts. Uh, they come and utilize our space as part of that program. Kids Best Fest, the 70 Film Sprint, Crowds for Cinema, which we'll see at the screening of uh, this afternoon, Toy Story. The Chamber of Commerce annual event, Young at Heart shows, Cinema Northampton, Production Grants, Films at the Green River Fest, the Frederick Douglass Reading, Hot Chocolate Run, A Manor House P PSA, Arts Night Out, The Workroom Project, Candidate Statements, for all uh, contested races in the city of Northampton, in partnership with illegal women voters, performance, the veteran show, um, ever increasing um, government meetings, including commitment committing to full coverage of the new commission to investigate racialized harms, the film camp, the doozy do parade, the Pulaski day parade, the rag shack parade, downtown Daniel Evans Pioneer Valley Access TV shows, and some shows um, that are upcoming this month with a uh, history of television students these are highlights from this year. Um, we're really proud to have, um, to have accomplished what we did this year. Um, it's our, kind of our, it's sort of a, it's still a transition year for us, but it's a year after the pandemic for sure. And we're excited to get back to our work and, and see what we can do. Uh, finally, uh, this year 2023 comes to close not without sadness on the part of Northampton Open Media. After nearly 12 years of the organization, Nam will be saying goodbye to production manager David Newman. Dave's in the audience here tonight. Uh, this is as Dave moves on to a fantastic new part of his career. Um, he's got great work ahead of him, and I, I, I know he's going to do amazing things, continue to do amazing things. It's difficult to know where to begin to talk about Dave's work here. Uh, one of my earliest memories of him was during a youth film camp we ran over a summer a decade or more ago. Uh, Dave had all of his kids in a circle on the floor of the studio. He was speaking to them softly, and they were all discussing their film project. Um, so there were two groups of kids. Dave had one of them. Um, it was clear how involved everyone was, how special and how included Dave made all of those young kids feel, how listened to, how important their ideas were. It was clear that Dave was a father, and a good father, and a good human being. Um, you know, the film was a lot about a lot of things. I don't know if you remember this, day, but like, you know, it was like ninjas and dancers fighting pirates and space creatures. It became, it became a bit of a hodgepodge of things, but there was just an, an amazing amount of respect in that circle that Dave had. Um, it, was a, it was a very interesting and like kind of beautiful thing uh, early in his, his work with us at Mom. Um, it's that kind of attention and patience and care for where other people are that has made Dave one of the best people I've ever encountered in the capacity of my entire 25 year career of doing this work. This kind of community work involves a lot of empathy. Um, it means working with a lot of different kinds of people with different needs and at different places in developing their skills. That's a lot to manage and handle. There's a lot of emotions that come up during that. And Dave does that work remarkably. He's also an exceptional teacher. He puts people at ease when he explains and instructs. On top of that, he's an exceptional filmmaker. 
whether he's doing DP work or editing or directing, live directing. Dave is skilled and creates incredibly high level content. He's always challenged himself to be better and to learn more. I will miss Dave greatly, and he will be missed by the NOM community and by the Northampton community. He's worked with and touched the lives of many of you, if not all of you, and with countless other organizations and individuals that we're surrounded by. He's to be celebrated and honored. Uh, of all the countless projects and programs, like Crowdsource Cinema, the Film Sprint, Production Grants, Government Coverage, they're possible because Dave was at the table, lending us his brilliance, his teamwork, his insight, and his passion. We salute you, Dave, and we thank you. Let's have a big round of applause for Dave. We also, um, we have a small, if you, ever, you know Hot Fuzz, the movie Hot Fuzz? We got you a piece lily, Dave. <laughs> a piece lily? <laughs> I don't know if you were calling that film, but uh, buy him a piece lily. So come on up and get your piece lily. It's been an amazing experience working at Northampton Open Media. Um, when I moved back to Western Massachusetts uh, with my wife and my my youngest, or my young son at the time, um, it was kind of a leap of faith. Uh, we, we moved back without jobs. Uh, we just knew this was an area that we wanted to be. Um, and I'm, I'm so happy that I had the opportunity to work here. Um, it's been a hugely rewarding experience for me. I've grown so much. Um, not in small part to Al's uh, leadership and his openness and his willingness to always talk through anything uh, with an open mind. Um, it's, it's allowed me to, 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 to grow and, and um, I, I'll always appreciate that. I also have always appreciated the board of directors at Northampton Open Media. It sounds, uh, it sounds like a cheesy thing to say, um, but, but it's, it's, in my experience, been um, a, a group that's enabled everything that we've done and, and given us the opportunity to explore and take chances and, and grow without the, the thought that somebody was kind of looking over our shoulder and, and waiting for us to fail. Um, they were rewarding us for taking chances. And so it's, it's, it's not in small part uh, thanks to, to everyone on the current board and past boards, Mary Alice, uh, it, it, everybody that um, took chances for us. Um, is that Mary Alice or is that? Okay, sorry. <laughs> I haven't seen you in a little while with the mask on. I, for a second, I was like, oh no, just missed name somebody. Um, and, and so, yeah, and then uh, to the city of Northampton, um, it's, it's been a great experience uh, working in this field in, in a place that is, is embracing uh, the arts and, and music and uh, activism. Um, all things look great on camera. So it was a it was a, a beautiful place to be to, to do this kind of work. So um, thank you, everybody, and uh, I'll still be around. So I'll, I'll see you at the coffee shop. Don't worry. <laughs> this is a tough act to follow. Uh, thank you, Dave, also from the board, of course. Everything is said, I believe, and we obviously fully agree uh, with everything. There was already a little bit of theme, or a major theme during uh, our time up here. It's about community. Um, thank you to the whole NAM team for doing all the great work which has been done over the years. Um, community also includes the board. Uh, there's people uh, volunteering and, and spending hours on this. And one of those people is Mary Ellis Krim, or was one of those people, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, she was with NAM over multiple years on the board and the last couple of years as the president. And we wanted to use the forum today also to say thank you to her. We also have a peace lily for you. <laughs> um, Mary Ellis was the first 
board member when, when I joined the board who welcomed me and really took me on and introduced me to all the details. Uh, and I know all the board members who had the pleasure of serving with her uh, had the utmost respect for her and she really brought the organization further. So it was a big loss when she uh, had to leave because she turned out. <laughs> but uh, it's always great to stay in, in, in connection and we want to say thank you today. Uh, and to make it official, um, uh, we made her an honorary board member uh, for her contribution. Thank you so much for everything you did for her now. and stuff from and you know these guys are always I, like these guys are, everybody here I consider a friend you know so I mean support it you know do it whatever we can I mean the 30% coming out your check don't even hurt you know every month you don't even feel it after a while wait that's child support my fault <laughs> my fault <laughs> that's just my life but you know um, are you coming back up to close it up Okay. So I just want to say, you know, thank, I want to thank everybody for coming out. I want to thank everybody for coming out and just in 2024, watch out for what's coming. You know, we got some great ideas and, you know, I'm, I'm real sad that you're leaving, Dave. I really want to say that, you know, I don't want to do without you. <laughs> I didn't even notice. I'm so shocked. All right. Well, thank y'all. Thank y'all for coming out. Yeah, let us know. Because like I said, we're going to be 